So my girlfriend broke up with me in 2008. Relationship was going nowhere. And I was lost in life. I had not done any kind of personal growth or self-development. I didn't know how to handle it. It, it was so bad. And I was crying every day. I, mm -hmm. I couldn't even be in a room by myself because every time I was in a room by myself, I just wanted to hurt myself. I wanted to end my life. I wanted to stop the pain. And I went on the internet several times, Jeremy, and I would look for ways to kill myself because I was just so tired of waking up every day and just feeling numb and depressed all day long. And that was for months and months and months. And every time I explored ending my life, I would think about my mother and how much I love her and what I would have to leave behind for her and the devastation she would have to deal with. So it stopped me from pursuing that. And I had a decision to make because I knew I was not going to take my life, but I also knew that I was tired of being in the dirt. I was tired of hurting every single day. And this is the point of my life that everything changed because books entered my life. Mm. Wayne Dyer, Bob Proctor, these amazing authors who have shared their rock bottom and what they did to accomplish greatness in this world. And that just turned on a, a light switch and a fire that ignited inside of me. And I decided for the first time in my life to take responsibility. Oof. I, I said, I am responsible, not my genetics, not my enabling family members, not whatever I was blaming. Fast forward nine months from that decision that I said, I am responsible. I went from 250 pounds to 170 pounds. I went from 34% body fat to 6% body fat. 6%? And I carved out a physical six pack. First time in my life being that kid who was obese growing up and bullied and picked wow. on. I always desired a physical six pack, but was more important than that, I carved out that mental six pack, dude. And I'll take that over a physical six pack any day yes. of the week. And that's where it all changed for me.